Welcome back to the program. This is still Good Morning Kenya. If you are just joining us, you're right in time for our second conversation on our Entertainment Thursday segment. I'm Doreen Arange Okelo, and right now, na kwambia, mwana habari shupavu, wakutajika katika lugha kiswahili. Na munge, na, mung, na mzungumzia nani? <laughs> Mistress Gatonya Ngetich, you obviously know her. If someone who watches KVC, Swahili news, Swahili reporting, ujakosa kumuona pale. An anchor, a reporter, now a musician. But this morning, we talk about her music. She just got into the music space, specifically gospel music, and that is what you want to focus on this Thursday morning. Remember that also we are taking your feedback. Tell us where you're watching us from, how you're loving the show, being the last Thursday of the month, of the year, our new Friday, the Christmas season, Christmas spirit. How is your feel? What song would you even like us to play for you being, you know, this Thursday, Christmas, um, the last Thursday of the month and of the year? And even as we take on taking your feedback, you can get us on Twitter at KBC Channel 1. My handle is at Doreen Arange. And there's John Kaindi from Machakos Level 5 Hospital. John, we appreciate you for watching. Anasema Wimboza Wini Zinambamba Zinamshika Sana Koroho. We appreciate you so much for watching as well as all our viewers now to our conversation like i mentioned beatrice we know you as an anchor mm -hmm. reporter now you're getting to the music space mm -hmm. and specifically gospel before we even get to your music what is the free what is the i mean what is it about the gospel music because right now there's this conversation if someone is getting into music especially if they are starting out it's just gospel what is it about gospel music? Mm -hmm. uh, I will not speak for someone else yeah. or anyone else. I'll speak for myself. Um, getting into gospel music because this is something that I have wanted to do since I was a young girl. When I was growing up, I was, uh, I was singing in Sunday school. I used to, I remember together with my sisters, we would be invited to, to sing in weddings, uh, to perform in uh, occasions, like tuliko tunajulikana kama the gatonyes. Mm. Uh, young girls who would sing and sing and sing and sing. So singing for me, it did not start today. And I have never seen, not even once myself uh, as a, a secular musician, uh, because I have a calling. And uh, I remember when I was growing up, I used to listen to Akina Esther Wahome, mm. Kuna Dawa, Kuna Dawa. <laughs> uh, I used to listen to uh, Chibalonza. Mm. She was my biggest inspiration in the music industry. I remember during when I, when I was growing up, uh, so what I would do, I would pick one of the cassettes uh, and then I record myself, the same songs that I'm hearing. And my mom used to get very mad at me because I used to nika kufuta the, 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 the songs that used to be in those tapes. Because if you have to record a fresh Yeah, yeah I wanted to. to hear myself. I wanted to hear how I'm sounding. And then Akina Sarah K came. Those were my biggest inspiration in the music industry and especially gospel mm -hmm. because that was my area of passion and interest and calling, I would say so. So for me, I would say if there is anyone else getting into the gospel uh, music industry, probably they have their own reasons. But yeah. for me right now, I would say that uh, this is a calling that I've had and I've carried in my heart for a very long time. And I thank God that it is happening right now. In your response to that question, you've, you've actually mentioned the word calling three times. Mm -hmm. And I want us to stick there just a bit. Mm -hmm. Because when it comes to gospel, mm -hmm. there's always this notion of, ni meitwa na mungu, na huyu amejita. You know, people would say, huyu ameitwa, mm -hmm. huyu amejita. Mm -hmm. How does this calling, or what is this calling, how does it look like? How do you know you are actually called? Because again, let's try and streamline gospel industry. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I, I would say this is, um, I did not start singing today yeah. and uh, I, I won't say that um, uh, this is a time this, I would say that this is the very first time I'm getting into the studio to record a song mm -hmm. but I have been singing in churches in praise and worship uh, 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 teams not in one church but in, in several churches because I've in my life journey I have kept moving from one town to another yeah. so I have participated and I have fellowshiped with different churches and in those churches I always find I, I always found myself uh, not an usher, not a Sunday school teacher. I never had a passion in that area and I never felt being attracted in those areas of service. Mm -hmm. But every time I would look at a choir, that's where my interest is and I just felt like nilikuwa na mkubwa sana wakueleke katika 
that side. Mm. So I would say that um, uh, a calling is something that you, every other time you hear God telling you. Uh, a few of my friends uh, um, are the ones who know that I've had this thing in a very long time. Since I came here in KBC and even way before, mm -hmm. I'm talking about now the KBC family and the people in Nairobi. Yeah. And people who did not know me when I was growing up. Those are people who did not know where these, all this started. But the people who are very close to me, they know that I've always talked about this. And I always tell them what I'm hearing, God speaking to my heart. And uh, yeah, so I would say that um, you, you really need to know where your area of interest and where, where mahali penye unapata homes kuma mkubwa sana. Yeah. Where, where it is for you to know. Mm -hmm. And then God is the giver of gifts. Yeah. Uh, if you open your mouth and you feel you can sing, there are those who can sing, but they do not have that calling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably they want to be something else, True. or God wants to use them in different ministries. But for me, this is where I felt that this is where I can spread the gospel, this is where I can share with the world better and best what God has put in me. All right, you speak so passionate about you wanting to do gospel, to do the music record, and someone would think. Bono kwanza ku record kitambo. Mm -hmm. Yes, you launched, uh, you know, you, you, you launched your music career with the release of three songs. You yeah. already have one video out. Mm -hmm. Where in the middle did you just get to broadcast journalism before you now decided, now let me now start on what my calling is or what I've dreamt of doing all this while? Uh, I would say that um, in life when you're growing up, you want to be something. Yeah. You, you want to be something. And uh, when I was growing up, uh, somewhere in high school, uh, we would we, we would be asked, won't take a I think the last thing we will talk about that time is mm. being a musician. Mm. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. During our times in high school, I think people wanted to become pilots. People wanted to become engineers. People wanted to come uh, to become doctors. Those were the careers people would talk about. Mm. And I remember during that time, for me, in Form Two, I started realizing I had an interest in uh, uh, in journalism because I joined Kiswahili Club, and that's where my interest even grew even much, much more more mm -hmm. uh, so I would say that um, ab about about the career that I pursue right now this is something that I have wanted to do in a long time mm -hmm. uh, but you see now this is not stopping me to pursue uh, the talent that I have and uh, what God has also placed in in, in my heart yeah. yes I come to you I read news but I will not read news and and say <laughs> <laughs> news is news time news is news that is work and uh, it is very separate from now the talent and the area of service that I want to indulge in in mm -hmm. terms of serving God. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, clearly this is one of those industry where, industries where it requires a lot of your time. I mean, you're not just... Re you, you, I mean, for you, you just don't read news. You're not just an anchor. You also report, mm -hmm. which obviously will require a lot of your time. Mm -hmm. And again, we know when it comes to music, writing the songs, recording, studio time, mm -hmm. shoots, all of that again takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. How are you planning to juggle this too? Yeah, this is, uh, this is something new that I'm adding into my life yeah. because this has not been part of my life. And, something uh, that you also love. Yeah, like. and uh, I'm very passionate about it. And I, I don't think I'm stopping at nothing. Uh -huh. I'm stopping at nothing. Nothing is about to stop you. <laughs> not even reading news. <laughs> not even reading news because, uh, let me tell you, I think in life you really need to find a balance mm. as a person. Uh, if you're a career woman like I am, uh -huh. when you're at work, you are at work perform give your best and when i usually have off days <laughs> i usually have off time i once i am done with work at kbc i go home i spend time with my family i am a wife and a mother i am there I become the best wife I can be, I become the best mother I can be to my children, and if time allows, I would extend, and now I have to spare time for my music, yeah. because this is something new that I've also added in my life. Uh -huh. So all I need to do is find a balance. Uh -huh. Where does the boundary lie in every responsibility that I have? Yeah. So that is something that I need to, to get, and I have to get it right, uh -huh. because I am not going to sacrifice my job uh, for music um, and I'm not also willing to sacrifice the passion music. and the great uh, gift God has given me because of my job. Uh -huh. So Beatrice has to find a balance uh -huh. yeah, and has to find and know where boundary li boundaries lies in everything. When I go home, when my children want to be with me, I will capture it, my, I will capture it and run with it. Uh -huh. But then does, that doesn't mean that I don't become and give my family time. Yeah, because again also when I was... Uh, 
recording this these songs like you say yeah. recording t studio time is a lot of time when you you want to concentrate on the lyrics and see how the song will go that also takes a lot of time and it requires a lot of meditation yeah. and it requires a lot of uh, uh, listening to what god is putting in your heart yeah. so all these things um my friend i have to find a balance and i have to know how to go all about them mm -hmm. yeah do you feel like this is something that if i can say female artists miss because sometimes there's this conversation of female artists especially in gospel mm -hmm. are not consistent mm -hmm. and some would say it's because I mean as a woman just like the way you're mentioning mm -hmm. good number of them are wives mm -hmm. moms mm -hmm. career women some mm -hmm. even go an extra mile and they are actually entrepreneurs mm -hmm. on top of that they're recording musicians mm -hmm. so when it comes to this striking of a balance do you feel like it gets to a point where they miss it so they leave the music space and this is why they're being termed as not as consistent as this, as they need to be mm -hmm. I'll, uh, I'll, I would say that um, I wouldn't speak for anyone who has not been inconsistent yeah. because I believe people have their own reasons why they do things at a particular time mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's uh, if you find a good balance if you find uh, if you find a good balance in everything that you're doing and all the responsibilities that you have yeah. as women we have a lot of responsibilities you hear me here I'm talking about being a mother being a wife and uh, being a news anchor and reporter at KBC at the same time now a musician mm -hmm. really that is not a joke if you don't put your foot down Mm -hmm. uh, I think also it's uh, it's not gonna be easy mm -hmm. and then, again it depends why are you getting into this music industry why are you even singing <laughs> because I also believe that God will keep you consistent yeah. he will sustain you if indeed he's he the one who has you. called you uh, to do what you're doing mm -hmm. uh, so you you will find that many people sacrifice or they, they, they leave music aside because uh, because of these other things that are priorities in their lives. Mm -hmm. So I would say that uh, if it is indeed God who has called you, he will sustain you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's why it's very, and I, and I feel like that's why it was important for me to even ask about the question on calling because we keep missing it. Mm -hmm. And you really rightfully put it, if, it, if it's God who called you, mm -hmm. whether you are a wife, mm -hmm. a mom, mm -hmm. entrepreneur, career, he will find a way to make you oh, get yes. that balance. Yes, he will. Mm -hmm. He will. He he will. He will definitely. Because again, you mean singing gospel is not just just about kutubamba with a gospel song. It's all about friend. ministry. <laughs> <laughs> it is about ministry. Yeah. And it and uh, you saw me launching it. I went back to Eldoret, mm -hmm. where I grew up, mm -hmm. and where most of the pastors gave me platform to exercise this talent, mm -hmm. and even exp uh, they they helped me expose more that was inside of me. Mm -hmm. But by then, I I I think. I had not reached to that point where I would become a recording artist. Mm. Uh, so that's why I went back there where people understand my journey, uh, people understand who I am and um, get blessings and even ordain this ministry and this industry that I'm getting into because mm -hmm. I know it has a lot of challenges. We have seen uh, people get into it, yeah. drop out or even divert to other yeah. directions. Exactly. Now yeah. just picking up from there, we've seen people getting into it, dropping along the way, coming back, not yeah. even knowing where exactly they stand what is the general view on the gospel industry as a whole and even where we stand right now with this kind of ministry or industry I, I, I would say that uh, gospel industry is not doing bad mm. I'll not say that um, just because there are a few who have diverted just because there are a few who have taken a different direction mm -hmm. that we are doing badly mm -hmm. I, I will not say that I still believe that God has placed men and women whom who are great uh, talented and called truly called by God yeah. uh, to minister to the world through the music mm -hmm. uh, through music and uh, worship and even praises so I would say that uh, we are strong we are doing well and I'm getting in here uh, with a lot of, if uh, I, will, uh, I would say that I'm getting into this industry uh, with a clear mind that of what I want to do and the gospel that I want to preach mm -hmm. I want to be an original person I don't want to sound like my mentors because God has called me I believe he has called me to follow a particular path mm -hmm. there are different kind of music there are different kind of songs and uh, the problem you find with people who really follow mentors so much they end up sounding like them uh, but i want to be an original because i understand the calling that i have mm -hmm. yes I like that you understand your calling mm. and you constantly keep referring to it because i mean it's very important when you talk about gospel mm. and tie to the calling mm -hmm. all right 
You talk about your mentors, and even during the launch, you had the likes of Ruben Kigami saying that they will support you. Yeah. You have mentioned the likes of Angela Chibalonza, people that you looked up to, Kina Sara K and the likes. Mm -hmm. when, when you look at Beatrice, someone who's getting into this industry, into the gospel industry, mm -hmm. after some time or even after time of being in this space, what would you like people to, to remember you for? I mean, what are you bringing different mm -hmm. into gospel that was hey, industry. Uh, I'm I'm not not industry. <laughs> what's Let so unique? You. What was the unique or so unique about you as a gospel musician? I, I, I would say that uh, my lyrics, when you listen to Wastahili's song, uh. the lyrics that you find in there, those are words from the Bible. Uh -huh. I will draw my inspiration from the Bible. I am bringing gospel music that when you listen, you get healed. Uh. You get encouraged. You if you wanted to give up, you move on. You say no. Yeah? So I'm bringing worship, I'm bringing praise, I'm bringing every other kind of music with lyrics that will touch your life. You will come to my YouTube channel and your life will change. Mm -hmm. I, I'm focusing on that, that I want someone's life to get better out mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to give up on God, you trust believing in God again. Mm -hmm. That is my focus, uh -huh. that someone will come, not just get entertained, but get healed, get encouraged, and move on. Uh -huh. Yes. Wasani, domana muziki ya gospel, see about usani na entertainment, it's all about ministry. Who are you touching? Who are you healing? Who are you encouraging? This is also what Beatrice is just trying to tell us here when it talks about her music. Yeah. Let's talk about Wasahili, given this is the song that's already out there. Mm -hmm. Tell us the concept, the idea behind this song. Um, I would say that um, when I first wanted to step into that uh, studio to record a song uh -huh. and when I was thinking about what I want to speak, I didn't want to ask God for anything in this particular song. Uh -huh. I didn't want to request for anything. I did not want to ask God for that. I looked at my life where Beatrice has come from. I looked at the journey of life and the only thing I could see is the way God has held my hand all through yeah. in my life there i have had moments in my life uh i almost gave up mm -hmm. but god still held my hand i have been in situations that i did not know how to get out of them but god helped me to get out of them and this particular song i just wanted to tell him that he's worthy mm -hmm. that he is so much worthy and there is nothing that can describe him rather than that mm -hmm. that he's worthy he's the only god mm -hmm. So I wanted to start my ministry with that. I wanted to bring, um, I, to start my music career with that. Just exalting God and telling him how great he is because that's what he's been mm -hmm. in my life. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, already, you, you launched three songs because you already have three songs. We have Mtakuinua and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hakuna Kama Wewe. Yes. What was so peculiar about Wastahili? Yes, you've told us the concept and the idea, but mm -hmm. you could have decided to also start with Hakuna Kama Wewe, mm -hmm. you know, to, to, to have the video of that. Mm -hmm. What was so peculiar about Wastahili that you just felt, by the way, Tunanza na video ya hii kuanza. Hizo zingine kidogo tu. Actually, uh, the three songs came at about the same time uh -huh. because uh, these are songs that I recorded in a span of uh, one and a half months. Uh -huh. And um, if you listen to these songs, because they will be coming your way very soon, especially Hakuna and Hakuna Kamawewe uh -huh. and uh, Nina Kuinua. These are songs just that, that are just exalting God. Nina Kuinua is more of thanking God uh, for what he has done in my life, for uh -huh healing my life for doing what he has done in my life yeah. but i felt that um, was the healing was uh, more of exalting god and not even telling him uh, mambo mengi just telling him god this is who you are uh -huh. and this is who like i wouldn't say that nina kuinua it's not a very good song yeah. or hakuna kama wewe kwanza hakuna kama wewe is a praise song it's a praise. <laughs> you know this one is a more worship it's laid back more worship and uh, lay back yeah. i just i think god has is the one who helped me just to say that um <laughs> so basically, you know, for you it was more of just looking at also what God has done for you, given mm -hmm. what you've told us, mm -hmm. uh, the journey he has taken you through as a person, and this is why you felt. Mm -hmm. Let's start with Wasta Hill. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I looked back at my life, my friend, and... <laughs> 
Uh, maybe this story. will be another a story for another day. <laughs> you know what we'll do? We just we have two minutes to go to the break, and I know you have that story because I mean I also feel like we want us to get practical. I mean when you talk about gospel artists releasing most of their songs mm -hmm. based on a background, mm -hmm. there's it's not just releasing songs because I feel mm -hmm. I need to release this song mm -hmm. because I feel it's a story. Let's be practical about it. Mm -hmm. This is the story of my life. Mm -hmm. I want it to touch someone. I want it to heal someone as you said mm -hmm. i wanted to encourage someone mm -hmm. so when you come back from that break i'd want you to tell us a bit of that story i will just a bit of that story for <laughs> us to tie it and make us understand okay. what was so interesting about this song what was yeah, so peculiar okay. about this song i mean when you say that it's, it's supposed to heal me mm -hmm. in what ways is it supposed to heal me mm -hmm. if i'm supposed to look at god as a creator mm -hmm. And the one who can help me to do things in life in what sure. way because of your story, okay. right? Time for that break. When we return, plenty more of this conversation. Stay with us. Welcome back to the program. This is still Good Morning Kenya, and I'm still on set by Tangazaji Tajika. Wanugia Kiswahili. Daabite. Daabite. But anyway, when you went on break, you're talking about you know, your story, and I just want, to, I want you to tell us a bit about your story mm -hmm. that. For, I mean, basically what God has done for you, mm -hmm. that even why you felt of all the songs that I've already written and even released, mm -hmm. um, when I was, thank you, when I was looking back at my life, um, uh, when I finished high school is the time I was discovering who I am mm -hmm. and exactly who Beatrice is, because I had just finished my high school. Mm -hmm. And then uh, while that is happening later, later, a few, when I just joined college, mm -hmm then post-election violence happened. I was in the middle of it. In the middle of it. That's in Eldoret? That is in Eldoret. That's where everything went like this, like this. Uh, my parents didn't know what to do. Mm. I was there, I'm trying to pursue a career in, uh, in uh, journalism. I had to stop. I found myself in Meru because we, ha we had, I personally left my family in Eldoret and I had a family pastor, friend of mine in Meru. I went to live with him. While I was there, I would not just sit and serve in the church. I needed to do something. So I found a job at uh, some printing sh uh, a factory, kale ka print zile papers, zile zinetangwa nini ku print Mary City. Mm -hmm. From morning to evening, I would go there to kupiga a number. Those receipts used to have numbers. You remember, not these ones the VAT squeezing. Yeah. Zile za kitambo zinyo ulikuwa unaenda unandikiwa. Unandika kila kitu. Unandikiwa kila kitu. Izo, izo receipt zilikuwa na number. So every morning I would wake up, walk from Kinoro Stadium where I used to live, mm. to town, downtown in Meru, mm. to go and iyo ilikuwa kazi yangu kutoka asubui, like this. At this point you've stopped college a bit. I, I stopped because of post-election violence. Yeah. And uh, where I found refuge is a pastor friend of mine, who, uh, of ours, who who invited me and okay. I took refuge in his house. Uh -huh. Then I, he helped me get that job. I used to get paid 4,000 bob every month. Uh, so I would like to get this. Let me let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, it's on 4,000 bob. You just reminded me number. something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you get the number from morning to evening for a uh, whole month, you get 4,000 bob. Yeah. Then uh, in the middle of that, uh, the peace is coming back in the country. Mm -hmm. Then I got an opportunity with Sayari TV and radio. Mm. They are like, come, 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 serve with us. Yeah. While I was starting school, I started volunteering volunteering in, in Sayari. Mm -hmm. So I think the bishop remembered ah, there was a kagal here so he looked for me. Mm -hmm. So I went and, and I told him Bishop Banami at a shulis Jamaliza as much as I came here me I can't promise you much mm -hmm. but if you give me an opportunity and give me time I'll prove to you that I can actually do what yeah. I can serve. So after that he gave me a scholarship I went to Tanzania did my diploma, then came back. Uh, then after that, God blessed me with my firstborn son. My firstborn son is hearing impaired. I am a new mother. It was not easy. It was not easy having a child who will not speak. You don't know how to communicate with this boy. You don't have no idea even where to start. And God gave me grace. I would say God gave me grace to accept the situation that I was in because I was very young and I did not even understand what this was all about. Mm -hmm. God has taken me through that journey with my son. 
um, understanding and that's why you see me very passionate of becoming uh, becoming a champion of people with hearing impairments because I know and I relate with the challenges of people living with disability. I have one in my house and I know what that means. God has taken me through that journey and I, I, I think I will not regret that God gave me this child, that God has taken me through this journey. Mm -hmm. It has taught me a lot of things, a lot of patience, a lot of trusting in God, bringing up this boy. And then, uh, it's, it's, it has not been, I will not tell you that it has been an easy journey. Yeah. If you do not have one, an, a, a person living with dis disability in your house, you will not relate with what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it has not been easy. God has taken me through that. Yeah, God has watched me mother that boy until to a place where he is right now. My husband was very sick of COVID. I almost lost my husband in, uh, in some time in, 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 in April. In oxygen, That's my husband last was, year? yeah, my husband was not eating, my husband was not moving, his lungs were eighty six percent damaged. I was and COVID is a very lonely disease, my friend, because I was the only one who was going to see him and the family members who would come would only probably come once a week. Thank God for my employer because they allowed me time off to watch over my husband. That was a very, very trying time in my life because I, I would sit there watch my husband a man whom i know who makes a lot of decisions mm -hmm. and i remember on a wednesday in, in, the, in the time he was sick i asked him dad can we move you to a different hospital because i don't think you're improving here then he told me just do what you want at that point i knew my husband is incapable of making any decision mm -hmm. and i felt that i was losing him but god restored his life god restored his lungs when I look back at what some of these things that I'm mentioning to you that God has done to me, I know what it means. God touching your life, God healing your life. And when I speak these things in the lyrics, they have happened to me. Oh, wow. They have happened to me. See me getting emotional. Yeah. <laughs> and it is just because, you know, sometimes people imagine that when they see people on screen like that, looking so glammed up, mm -hmm. speaking good English or good Swahili, mm -hmm. I will make it. People have stories behind the beautiful faces yes. and the good smiles. Very, very, very. Sometimes you come here reading news, but you're carrying a lot in your heart. Mm. You're carrying a lot, but you have to smile to that viewer and make sure they receive that news yeah. in the best way possible. Yeah. But I wish someone else would also tell them, tell their story. Mm -hmm. It is not as beautiful and rosy at is, as it always looks on the screen. Mm -hmm. There are very touching stories down here. We are normal human beings, we go through these things. Yeah. Yes, wow. we go through these things. And by the way, that time my, my husband is sick, all that. I never, <laughs> and people, people, people were asking me, are you going to that hospital to take care of him? And I'm like, huh? What am I supposed to do? But He's I have my to. husband. <laughs> <laughs> I will be supposed there to take him. him. I'll go wear those gloves, attend to him as much as I can. Mm -hmm. I would go to the hospital in the morning and I would sit there until 10 a.m., 10 p.m., then leave. Thank God for the pass, mm -hmm. for the journalism passes mm -hmm. because we had curfew. I would extend and still get home safe. Yeah, so uh, when I'm telling you that I have seen God in my life, I have seen him touch my life, I have seen him. Um, help me walk through this this journey of life. Wow, now it so makes I'm sense. speaking things that God has done for me. Mm -hmm. This is a testimony. I know He has done it for me. So this so this is why when you say this song is supposed to be a healing, more of when I you have listen to it, it's not life. just about yes. listening to the lyrics yes. and the melody. Mm -hmm. It's about to heal you. Yes. Yes, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. I don't want you just to get entertained, mm -hmm. but get healed, get encouraged that indeed God can change your situation, yeah. that indeed God, God can lift you from one place and put you at a place that is, is very good. True. Yeah. True. All right. Mm -hmm. As we finish this conversation, Beatrice, 
what next for you as an artist yes we talked about two songs that you're yet to um release mm -hmm. at least one is already out and mm -hmm. now we understand fully the whole idea even you becoming a gospel artist you know let's just do this thing because we are here <laughs> no. there's actually a story behind you you know now choosing to actually all this while i wanted to sing mm -hmm. it has been a dream mm -hmm. a gift this is the time this is the moment mm -hmm. so what next for you as an artist um uh, if you manage to watch uh, Ruben Kigame, who was my guest artist and my guest of honor during my yeah, lounge, yeah. Um, he came and saw what I had brought on the table. Uh -huh. You have three songs, girl, and you're just starting. Uh -huh. And he promised to hold my hand, ensure that the rest of the production to fill that album is done. Uh -huh. So I would say I have a great mentor who is going to hold my hand. This is a new industry. I'm trying kujua kona zikoapi, barabara zikoapi, you know, and I have I found someone who can lead me and show me the way. Uh -huh. And uh, someone who is, has accepted to hold my hand, he even gave me a collab already. Imagine, <laughs> imagine. Waiting. We're out of with Ruben Kigame, the legend. <laughs> hey, I mean, I, see God, I mean, it's it's amazing. Yeah. So I would say that uh, the future, Apambele, it's very bright. It is very bright. Mm -hmm. It is very bright because, like I said, I am clear, and it is clear in my mind what I am getting into because mm -hmm. I I have. I'm not just bringing you entertainment. Uh, uh, this I'm is more than entertainment. <laughs> I am bringing Where can you people get your, your, your contact, your, mu your, your content, your music? What's the YouTube channel? Oh, yeah. Visit Beatrice Gatonye Music. Beatrice Gatonye Music. Uh -huh. That's on YouTube. That is on YouTube. Go click on that button. Watch Wastahili song. And uh, Nina Kuinua will be coming soon. Uh -huh. uh, probably in a month's time or uh, two months' time. I'll be shooting that video. Nahakuna Kamawewe. And that would be the story going on. Mm. I like uh, that would be the story going on. Mm. I, I don't want just to kukulete wimbo moja alafu basi kwendio hivyo. Because there is a, so much that God has put in my heart <laughs> yeah. that I want to share with you. Uh -huh. Yeah. Very inspiring pictures. Mm. I mean, I'm, I just marvel at the fact that it's not always about the beautiful faces and the good English and Swahili that you see on your screens. Mm -hmm. People have gifts and talent that are yet to be tapped. Mm -hmm. And when they choose to tap them, there's mm -hmm. a story behind it. Very and that's true. what we need to be focusing on, mm -hmm. this story. Mm -hmm. Very true, sense. very, very true. Yeah. Um, I have been you want to finish this. <laughs> 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 I want to finish. finish. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a very yeah, important thing. Let me finish by saying something. Mm -hmm. If you believe and you know there is something in you, God has given you yeah. a talent, mm -hmm. a talent that you know you can share with the world, please don't sit with it. Mm -hmm. I know God's time is the best, but please. Director, I'm going to get a little bit of I can't believe this. Anyway, but this is how we bring this particular conversation to a close. I've been speaking to Beatrice Gatonye, news anchor, reporter, now a musician of singing the gospel music. Very beautiful story. I mean, just go to her YouTube channel, Beatrice Gatonye Music. Follow her, listen to her song, and even the two and the more that are coming up. Support her music, music of healing, inspiration. That's all you need, I mean, in this mm -hmm. time of Christmas and even beyond. But... Good morning, Kenya Jaisha. Mm -hmm. We have a very interesting conversation coming up after this. Have you heard of tattoo modeling? Stroke intertwined with music. That's what, that is what is coming up next. Actually, this is a conversation I had with Wakenyan Joki, who is a tattoo model it, uh, together, I mean, intertwined with a musician, and she's going to be talking to us about all that. Singing in Kenya, while, I mean, singing while in Kenya, living in the US, all, doing all that as well as just modeling all tattooed up that is what is coming up next but before we have that conversation again i'd leave you with beatrice gatonia's latest song listening as we await that conversation coming in in a bit <laughs> 